if there is somebody listening, and I know there is, of course there is, who's dealing with something similar to what you dealt with, or even to your point, if it's not that, but it's something really challenging, something really threatening or something very scary, what is the message? How do they get up and go to battle every day to get through it? I think it came from my wife, Jim. When I was going through the first couple of treatments of chemotherapy, because I would take chemo every two weeks for 48 hours, I would take it for four hours at the hospital, and then they would send me home uh, with a fanny pack, and I would have it, my chemo, a different type of chemo drip for 48 hours, and they would kind of come and unhook me. And everybody that's been around it knows that there are side effects when you take chemo. And for me, there was a time where a couple of treatments in where, Jim, I, I was done. I could not li- live with the side effects where it just it consumed me. Uh, it was it was bad headaches. It was nosebleeds. Uh, I developed a blood clot, uh, vomiting. Uh, you can't control your bathroom issues, and you sit there and go, "How in the hell can I live like this? Like it, it, it's it's just it's not right." And and look, I'm not embarrassed to say this because I think it's important for people to hear it. I mean, I wanted to quit, like I wanted to bail because I wasn't. I, I just I couldn't deal with everything that came with the disease. And my wife grabbed me by the short hairs and looked at me and said, fight for me, fight for our kids, and fight for all the people that love you. Be an example for people that look up to you and need you. And you have a moment, you're emotional, and okay, okay, how am I going to get through this? So you take a deep breath and you go, okay, it is really because you hear coaches say it all the time, Jim, right? Yeah. Well, this player's day to day. Well, in the big picture, aren't we all really like in the big picture, like we're all day to day. There's nothing promised for tomorrow. And I think what I did was, is okay, I'm just going to battle this thing. I'm going to fight. I'm going to do everything in my power and uh, I'm going to ask questions. Uh, I'm going to raise my hand when I need help, uh, but I'm going to battle this thing hour to hour day to day, week to week, month to month, and then hopefully in six months they're going to tell me, okay, you're clean, you're clear. Or I didn't know what was on the other side. I was like, look, maybe I have to go another. And look, I know this, Jim, there are a lot lot of people that are that were and are way worse off than Eddie Olchek ever was, and I pray for those people, but I want those people to know that we're thinking about them. Uh, we need to make sure that we're reaching out and – the understanding of how important the caretakers and caregivers are for the people that are helping the people that are in the battle, because they may not going through a physical gym, but they are going through things mentally. So we have to make sure we're taking care of the caregivers and caretakers that are helping people along. So I would just, I would encourage people to fight, believe, and, uh, and, and live day to day because, uh, as I said earlier, the, tomorrow is not promised. 